Talk about wine, a former Major League Baseball star making waves in the industry in our area. His name is Greg Vaughn, and he's played for everyone from the Milwaukee Brewers to the San Diego Padres. ABC 10's Mark S. Allen joins us live in downtown Sacramento. Mark, let's talk <laughs> wine. Look at you. <laughs> he's catching the wine. Yeah, I don't want to waste any of this, uh, though this apparently is uh, white wine. Yeah, we're talking about red wine because it's National Red Wine Day. Uh, I tell you this because many restaurants, most restaurants, are going to offer some kind of special on red wine. Check your local listings. In the meantime, let's talk about the celebrated wine you just mentioned. Red wine is the nectar of the gods, man. This is... Uh what we like to call that dope juice. That's Ryan Royster of Last Supper Club and proprietor of Tiger Bar and Restaurant. They've just added an award-winning red wine to their list from a vintner that was once a brewer. Vaughn into right center field. Greg Vaughn, Major League Baseball player, once a Milwaukee brewer, also a San Diego Padre, and aptly so, a Cincinnati Reds member. To National Red Wine right. Day. Yes, sir. What makes red wine the best wine? I just think because, you know, the fruit, the tannins, you know, I mean, the aroma, the smell, the taste, you know, it's like Thanksgiving in your mouth, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just, it's just that good. You know, we're harvesting it right now. I go through the harvest, I go through the paper, I go through the foil, I go through the court. I try to learn every aspect of the business because if I'm going to put my name on it, I have to know how everything runs. Yeah, did you ever think back in the day when you were selling out ballparks, did you ever think someday I'm going to have a product, a, a wine, in 260 stores, that is so important. No, I, I did not. But you know what it you know what it does, you know, Marcus. It, it gives me the opportunity to have little boys and little girls that look like me, not just rely on sports. It give them a different view on what they could become. You know, because in this land, if you put your if you put your mind to it, it's not going to be easy. And I'll tell you that because we all you're going to have to be the best, whatever it is you do. Cheers to that. Cheers. Such an inspirational guy, and we should probably point out that uh, the proceeds of his wine, whether you buy it at Tiger or one of the 200-plus uh, stores that offer it, proceeds go to uh, type 1 diabetes, so you can help out a great cause. His son was diagnosed, thus he started the foundation that helps out diabetes and diabetes research, so making the world a better place. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention there are other athletes that are now winemakers. Uh, Dusty Baker, right across the street in West Sacramento, has his own brand of wine, and then uh, branching out of the Roseville Plaster County Fred Bolitnikoff, former Raider great, has his wine as well. National Red Wine Day, according to a recent survey, 12% of all Americans claim that they have consumed an entire bottle. I ask you, where do you fit into that statistic? <laughs> you know, I'm a cab drinker, so I, I concur with that. I like red wine, but you know, I like that this goes to, uh, it's philanthropic as well. This is really nice, Mark. Thank you for sharing this with all of us.